Hello, I'm a PhD student in computer science in distributed system. I came here for the first time uh, under the Erasmus project. I was the first uh, co-supervised PhD between the Institute for Informatics and Automation Programs and IRID, where we are now. I'm also a PhD student within the Cotegen program between Argentina and France. Funding by Erasmus Plus project. My topic uh, includes big data and the detection of on that data, especially um, quality measurements for exploration and data analysis. This is my first year of PED, but I have also participated in this program when I was a master student. Yes, we were studying at the uh, University of Montsabatier in our master's degree. So uh, now I'm doing my first year PhD here. And my, the main objective of my thesis work is to predict uh, unwanted environmental changes. Uh, so we were mainly focused on air pollution exposure. Uh, we have two supervisors, one from here, from Iraq, and one in Armenia. The collaboration is uh, really good in, uh, within my topic uh, because the labs are complementing each other. Uh, my topic it includes uh, the memory optimization in virtualized environments, which is pretty popular right now, used in cloud clouding infrastructures, uh, and Erasmus. Plus, uh, gave me the opportunity to come here to use the infrastructures that are uh, available here and uh, the, to be a part of the team which is very experienced. And I still have the opportunity uh, to use uh, the, the infrastructures thanks to all this stuff and a very big, big thanks to the uh, our Armenian part where the team is also very supportive and experienced. My results are really visible and I can really feel uh, the impact of the Erasmus Plus project. And uh, I hope that soon uh, my work will bring the impact, especially in our in my own institution. The main benefit for me is that we can, I can use uh, satellite images from uh, European satellites. One of the main benefits at the very beginning <laughs> The very beginning of uh, our studies here is that uh, is the accessibility of papers, of journals, of uh, study materials, and uh, for now also the data that I use. The master's program we can surely say that uh, are very different in Armenia and in France, and the experience gained uh, during master studies here. Appreciated and evaluated highly. And I would like uh, to mention one more thing. Besides the professional knowledge, uh, it's, it's really challenging to live abroad for several months, and uh, of course, it, uh, it contributes, contributes to develop uh, the language proficiency. Uh, so you just improve your language. But besides that, uh, I think the most important part is to live here in intercultural environment, to work here in intercultural labs. So we can see the difference between the cultures, we can uh, learn a lot about different countries and it makes us uh, to respect others' uh, culture and countries. I think uh, the social impact of Erasmus project is also very, very big. So I, I, I really, I, I, I can feel the impact from that side as well. Yeah, because uh, you learn to live in a diversity and uh, you, you learn to respect things that are, you are not used to it, used to them. And uh, you get to know many, many, many things. This experience, is, yeah, like you live lifelong experience and get uh, really much. We hope that this project will last for some years so that uh, other students will have also the opportunity to come here to experience all the things that we have experienced already. So.
this will help us to become better professionals and better persons, better uh, citizens for our country. I would like to mention that basically there are a lot of projects all over the world under the Erasmus project. So what is the most important to the motivation? If you have the motivation, you will find one. Doesn't matter if it is long one or the short one, if it is some uh, professional or it's non-formal education, it doesn't really matter. Just my advice to young people from all over the world, just find an exchange program and try to get in. Uh, once you got in, then you will want to be the part of the intercultural team all the time and you will uh, carry the values of the intercultural environment. So just try once.